<laughs> okay. Hello, dear friend. Oh, this glasses is not a color matching. Let me see if I have some color matching one. <laughs> oh. Oh, oh, do I even? Yes, I do have one. At least it goes with <laughs> more or less, more or less. Okay, hello, dear friends. Good morning. Such a, a beautiful, beautiful morning. Look at it. It's so good. Doesn't it look like a paradise? Oh. Okay, so uh, today I was just uh, 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 walking around and uh, <laughs> look at this beautiful teacup. Oh, this touches my heart. Now here is the okay, now here is the story. Let me uh, put uh, a microphone on. <laughs> So today, as uh, I was driving around, I have uh, a couple of uh, minutes time or a couple of uh, half an hour something. So I do not want to go a little bit too far. So I come to my surrounding area and there used to be a coffee shop. And uh, I haven't been to this coffee shop. I haven't been here for for many years, three, four, five years. And I was just suddenly have this thought, why not uh, give it a try and see what has changed into. It becomes a new coffee shop. It's called Klaus Cafe or something. I will take a look. So it's a, um, it's a, a pair of uh, friends the the lady who give me this tea is uh, she's an artist doing pottery and uh, she has some other potteries and this is not her own pottery and uh, the other one is uh, doing interior design so this place is so um, simple unique and uh, and tasty there are some toys you here, are some uh, 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 very simple toys, and the inside is also very simple. And now let's take a look at this tea. Usually you go to a co coffee shop and uh, you get a cup of uh, coffee. And this time, I think uh, they look very delicate. They may have some tea, and they do have tea. And I was thinking maybe they can serve on a teapot. And I got this. And uh, the pottery lady said, this is a gift from her parents. Wedding gift. Oh, I am <laughs> holding something so very special. So I ordered a cup of bogamon, bergamot, uh, poor tea. Let me taste it. It just makes me so happy. I am actually thinking of uh, doing a podcast or interview to know a little bit more about their story. This teacup or this tea shop or coffee shop just opened two months and later on they will do some party, some class, pottery class, community building. And uh, it is uh, close to the, to the golf course with beautiful scenery and noisy airplane. <laughs> but uh, all in all, this is so wonderful. I am so happy that I made this um, this discovery and this tour. Okay, <laughs> now <laughs> I just finished my class. You can see that I lost my voice. 
<laughs> and uh, I was thinking of making a video about uh, how to deal classroom management, how I manage my class and these kind of things. And uh, <laughs> I already lost my voice. But uh, we had fun and that is important. And I think uh, the only thing I want to say is that uh, just be courageous and believe in, in yourself, in your method. There are a lot of different methods. There are a lot of wonderful teachers. They do their classroom more regular, not regular, more organized, more, um, more systematic, more, uh, more relaxing or more, um, more planned, more, uh, more well done. <laughs> my style is my style. My style is uh, is uh, uh, exciting, is noisy, a little bit chaotic, and that is part of my life. And uh, it is very hard for me to organize a classroom and make it into a, a, a well-tempered, well-planned classroom. I feel that takes me more time and energy and um, and uh, a little bit well uh, maybe I have the possibility to to make it into a unique style but um, but uh, sometimes you just deal with your life and get comfortable with who you are and be the person that you are best at or be the person you are the most authentic. Our authentic self may not be the best version of ourself. Wow, that's a, that's a very, very <laughs> profound thing. Our most authentic self may not be the best version of ourself. But uh, it is natural, it is, uh, it is real, and uh, it is more doable. Be brave enough to be the odd one. Be brave enough to be the different one. Be brave enough to be the strange one, the weird one, the the messy one, the not good one, I think it takes even more courage to be your true, original, authentic person. And that is important. Anyway, it was a beautiful class and it was noisy, it was chaotic, but we had fun. I had fun. I, I was not stressed. I was just thinking, it does not help to be stressed out. So let me just not stress. So some teachers, bum, 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 everyone quiet. I cannot do that. I will say, when I count to one, quiet, hear me two, quiet, hear me three, I count until seven, eight. And start, and students start to cool down. I was just thinking, maybe because they are too excited. Well, at the end of the day, nobody is stressed out. There are tears, there are arguments, but we all, that's part of a children's life, right? How I deal with a messy classroom. Yeah, this could be the title. Anyway, I enjoy this moment. Thank you very, very much. I love you. I really do. Do, 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 do. Do, do, do. Good.
kuku bye bye